Hey everybody, I'm back with another video, and I got a really cool surprise for y'all. I found it. My dog found it yesterday. She's over there. It's really cool. Look at her. She's so beautiful. Okay, well, we got a really big frog, and right now I'm at my aquarium. And we got some minnows. There's a minnow right there. That's a pretty big minnow, but... And then we have uh, another one right there. Hard to see it, but it's right here. And we have a really big frog. Let me see if I can find it. And we have some more stuff. We have a, oh, there it is. Okay, got it. There it is. Oh, thank you. oh no, it's getting away. It's getting away! Oh, oh, oh there it is. Come here. Ah, okay, we got it. Hey, Coda, thank you for trying to help. Appreciate it. But we caught a frog yesterday. This is not that big for the usual size, but it's a frog. We caught a frog yesterday. It's cool. I don't know its name. I think we're going to release it today. I've been waiting to start a video, but I ain't been able to due to hurricane season. Yes, it's been raining a lot. Okay, we're going to take him back to the pond. I just want to show y'all because I don't think y'all have ever seen something like this before. If so, that's cool. Look at this eyeball. Okay, that's a frog. We're going to take him down to the pond, and I'm going to show y'all my creek. Let me just put him in the thing. Put the lid on. Dang it. This lid is not going to be very easy to put on. Okay, let's go. Yes, we're going to the creek. That's the aquarium. It's a pretty big aquarium. It's an aquarium. Get the frog in the tank. It's cool. And for those that are wondering why I haven't posted a video lately, it's because it has never been a good day to make a video. So I think I'm out here like right now at like 8 o'clock or something like that, making a video, barefooted. And I woke up like sort of two hours ago. It's amazing. Wait for a great time to make a video. It's not a good time. And right now, I have this weird plant growing. Don't know what it is. I don't know if it's a pumpkin or a squash or a watermelon. I think it's a pumpkin, but we don't know for sure. There's the baby goats. Hey, baby goats. Look at him. Look. He's already getting his horns. Look at that. So awesome. Okay. I have back goats. And there's Miko. I don't know where all the other dogs are. Apparently they just don't like me. Well, oh, there they go. Let's find a bunny. But I got a lot of cool things to show y'all. Um, I am trying to make a trail that goes all the way around my, around my yard. Half of the yard already has a trail, but one half doesn't. It has a road like that. This is one side. Then it goes to the pond, and yeah. I'm trying to make a trail around the entire yard. Ten acres, which is a lot, but it's okay. And I'm going to tell you some cool things that's happened since... I uh, see it. Um, the other day, I found a hog nose, um, hog nose, dang, I don't know what it's called. Eastern hog nose, yes. Uh, they were, it was pretty cool. Gabby found it, like always. She finds all the cool snakes and stuff, and usually I try to save them. And it wasn't too bad, but hog noses, they are just like, they flip themselves over, and Back dead and it's stupid and it's hard because all you do I just click with a stick and boom, it's on its back. It's hard to look over. And then that same day I found a rat snake. It looked like it was about three feet long. It was pretty cool. It was awesome. It had a yellow stomach. It's really cool. Uh, and just to update y'all on the birds, they're gone. Yes. They were doing pretty good, but somehow or another they just like disappeared. Look at it's gone. It's empty. It's so tragic. Okay. And I know I do have a very bad camera. It sucks. That is a snake. I'm thinking there's a really big frog up there. You're going to hear it jump. And it's been raining a lot, so it's really wet. So I'm probably going to get extremely wet in these video, this video. Yesterday we seen the bath. We know he's still alive. He's about, I don't know, a lot of pounds. Yes. 
to know that. Hey, one day I can show y'all one of the bandit water snakes. Maybe at the end of this video, I will show y'all pictures of the snakes that I've seen. Yes. That's really cool. Oh, there's my fish. Can you see him? I'll zoom in on him. He is right there. He is he's trying to swim away, but there he is. He's a decent sized fish. So, dang it, I'm screwing up my camera. Hurry up, go away. Then, if you do this, zoom out, and there he is again. My fish. I ain't been seeing him a lot lately due to the bass. He eats fish, other fish. He eats my fish in particular. He chases it down and he tries to eat it. But thankfully, he hasn't succeeded yet. Not now. I'm trying to find a grasshopper. Found one. Deep. Okay. Be nice if I had a stick on that. Okay. I'm getting a new stick on that. Well, the one I've been using ain't mine, but that's me taking a bath. I may have to come back and catch a grasshopper. Try not to make these videos too long. Yes. And I'm, can y'all please subscribe and like the video and comment down below how long do y'all think my video should be because I'm kind of confused whether it should be 10 minutes, 20 minutes, and all that stuff. And I was supposed to post a video yesterday with my friend when he came over, but he was like, no, I don't want to be in the video. And I was like, okay, then, whatever. And I was like, okay. That's just going to be me today. Pretty sad. But I've upgraded the thingamajig. Yes. Put the trap on, but I ain't put the trap on today because I don't know if I was, I didn't know if I was able to come outside today due to it raining and everything. It sucks. Like, it's really badly. Now I'm about to let the frog go. Okay. We're about here. And I'm about to show y'all the trail making. I've gotten a pretty good distance on it, but I don't, I don't know how far I gotta go. I think I'm like one fifth of the way done for one side of the arc, which is over there. Okay. The frog getting caught was right there on the side of them bushes, so, so we're going to release it on the side of the bushes. So awesome, isn't it? Hey, hey, hey. I don't know exactly where we're at, but we're going to release it right here. Uh, I don't know what I was going to name the frog. I haven't even named it yet, which is sad, but... There he is. Come here, little froggy. Look at him. He's so beautiful. I don't want to eat them. Y'all probably like, why don't you eat them? I'm like, because I don't know how to eat them, cook them or anything, so. They get a little froggy. Oh, there he goes. He's off. Okay. I'm going to leave this thing right here. For now. And we're going to go to the creek. Yes, the creek. Hold on. No, first we got to go this way and show y'all the, holy crap, our things, but the trail I've been working on. Hopefully... Gave it to the kitchen of the frog. Says, I hope she does, because that was a pretty small one for the ones we usually have. I might post a picture of the frog that we once caught down here. We post about three pictures at the end of this video. One hog nose and one the rat snake. It was a gray rat snake. That was about three feet long. And I'm probably gonna show the big frog we caught once. And here we go. And that's a trip. And this is a fallen tree. Um, he just jumped over that like it was nothing. And this is, oh no, a hill. And there's a hill right there. I don't know why my camera zoomed in so much. There we go. And there's a hill right there that leads to the trail. I'm thinking we're going to clear flatten that out. Because there's like a hole right here. There's a mountain. I'm like, okay, we could probably put that mountain right here. And boom. Okay. And then we have this. That's the end of it, but there's the ground. Yeah, that was a really big hole, so I just put palmettos on it. So I feel like I'm filled in with dirt and keep going good ways. I was gonna go that way, but I lead into my neighbor's yard. He's not a very good person, but then we got here. And this is as far, as far as I've gotten so far. Oh, so yeah. We try to hurry up and go to the entrance to the creek because um they asked us to pause the video but I'm going as fast as I can. It's a little struggle, but I think I'm gonna survive. <sighs> and I want y'all to comment down below what we should do next because I'm kinda not really know no more. Go dogs. 
I'll get in my way. Okay. Ha, I won't die. I can jump off of this cliff over there. Ooh, black bears. Okay. Is it really black? No, no. Yeah, that was perfect. Okay. Got a little snack. <laughs> no, on the run. Ow. There you go. Hold on. Dang it. Water. Beautiful. Like that's one. Look at it. So beautiful. Okay. We're gonna stop. Nobody wants to bite me. Okay, the trail is over there. Pretty cool. We're going there. I'm gonna see if I can find me a grasshopper. I can feed my fish. That's what he's waiting on. I bet my fish don't see you right now, but. Oh, yeah. Heads up on the fort. I have gotten a little ways on it. It's just that now two of the thing that holds it up, posts, are growing back. And I'm thinking, what is it going to do when it grows too high and it just starts falling apart slowly? And then I was thinking about it. He said, we could have a, a live hut. I was like, that's kind of weird, but okay. And I'm piping. I don't see a snake or nothing in this water, so I'm going to step away. So most likely, everything is going to be flooded. I'm going to let y'all see the way that Ow. Man, there's water in there. And this is a trail that goes on one side of the yard. There's where we go. It's on, you know, leads to the front yard. And this way it leads to the creek. It goes all the way to the back of my yard, beside the train tracks. Because we have train tracks in the back of my yard. Pretty cool. And there's usually somebody goes high, and that's why there's a deer standing out there. And usually, this right here is flooded. And the dogs are enjoying the water. I am kind of enjoying it, other than being afraid I'm going to see a snake. Okay. And my dad, well, somebody was driving down the road and they seen a rattlesnake, but its rattle cut off. Somebody cut off its rattle and just let it be free. Like, that's so painful, isn't it? But then it started coming in their yard and we shot it because we didn't want nobody to get bit. And that's why we buried it. But somehow, they something dug it up. That's not good. I wanted to skin it, and then, like, that'd be really cool, but, no, nah, didn't happen. And I live, like, South America, in America, and it's really hot down here, so at the moment, there's snake season, which means we're going to be seeing a lot of snakes. And I want y'all to comment down below if I just want me, like, to start videoing as soon as I see a snake. Like, I'm thinking I might just start videoing them, like, all my snake encounters, video all that. And then post it in one video. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? I think. I don't know, but y'all can comment down below and tell me whether it's cool or not. But we're almost there to the entrance. Looks like a dead end, but it's not. It leads to a whole other world. And I forgot skeeters are bad, so. Whee! It's basically flooded, dogs. <laughs> this is awesome. Everything's slimy, wet. Holy crap, and it's cold. Okay. Oh, oh, it's a spider web. I don't know how I'm going to get past it. Struggle. There's going to be a struggle. Yes, okay, it fell. We are survivors now. Huh. Yeah, it may look like it's extremely hard to get back here, but it's really not. It's extremely easy, actually. And pretty much my part of the creek is just a stream, which I mean, this creek is pretty much a stream. It goes miles and miles, but here's the entrance. We've tried to clear it out some, but didn't succeed too much. So instead, we made it worse by putting this thing in the way. So I'm trying to pay attention to y'all, and oh, spider web, get back! And the snakes, that probably gonna be on the ground eventually. Probably gonna see. It's really gonna take me. I mean, it's cool. 
because me and snakes are friends. Because when I get older, I'm going to become a herpetologist. In case you don't know what that is, it is a person that studies snakes and some amphibians. Really cool. So you have to talk to all new word probably. Okay. Yeah, it's flooded out here, so. Sucks. This means the wildlife is probably way more awake and, ooh, stay frog. See if I can zoom in on them. Can't really see them. I think you can see them right there. Oh, well. Let's just keep going. Hopefully, I don't die from the flooding. Well, I do not like being up here. Because I didn't wear shoes, I just would have sucked. <sighs> Ooh, spider man. That was like crazy. I haven't been up here in a long time. Yeah, this is going to be a struggle. Everything's flooded. Holy crap, look at that. It's a humongous banana spider. Bro, we can be friends. I don't know if I can see it or not, but I'll try to zoom in on him. I don't know where he's at on the camera, so it's going to be a struggle. Okay, if I can see the web, I don't know if I can see the spider. I don't know. I don't want to get near it. That's a banana spider. I will try. There it is. I can see it now, can't you? It's right here. Pretty cool looking dude, isn't he? Okay. Let's see back up. That is one of the cool things that we see in these videos. Try to probably see them. There's no spiders. A lot of snakes, probably. Maybe even some fish. Maybe one day we can catch the bass. I'm going to show y'all to that to him. Because it's pretty cool. And I told you I was going to play a video of me going camping. That did not happen because. I don't know. I couldn't video me going camping because I just cannot get distracted. And I have ADHD, so it's really hard for me to focus. Struggle. Okay. Water, again. Snakes and turtles and stuff could be, could be up in this. So anyway, they're scared. Ooh, I can take it. I'm the man. I am the man. I am the big boy. Yes. I can do it. Holy crap, that's freaking flooding. I am not used to this. Man, water's hot and everything. Okay. And that's some of the creek right there. Pretty beautiful, I think. And the best part about going to the creek is here. See, we have this humongous mountain. It is where, I guess, that tree... Right here has fallen and it has created a guess the roots just came up, yes. And that hole looks like one of the holes for a spider, so I don't know who we need it. And apparently we have a friend that is common at this creek. It's a hawk. I was once sitting right right here and it just went oh! and flew that way. I was scared to death. Ow. Cause I was out here by myself, getting eaten up by skeeters, and it just came out of the Scared. And that's another part of the creek. We're almost to the waterfall. The waterfall is like where the creek is like up here, but in this part it's like down here. Yes, it's cool. So it's technically like a waterfall, but mostly like a dam. It's like a dam, but a waterfall at the same time. It's cool. I'm laying this thing's flooded and I don't like it. Dog, stop fighting. I'm like it's time to hear all that. Holy crap, I am scared. <sighs> okay. Oh, it's going to struggle. Ow. So, I mean, this is way funner when it's like dried up and everything. Because when it was dried up, I finally discovered that there are fish in my creek. Because usually I've never seen fish in my creek until now. Or until a month ago. And that's where a fallen tree happened. And that's like, because we had like a bad storm. But it's cool. Yeah. It's really cool. Ugh. Um, And this is the waterfall. Pretty cool. Yes. Ow. And there's ants terrible bad out here. So I'm gonna just try not to stop moving. Oh yeah, that was beautiful, doesn't it? Oh yeah. The ants are killing me. We may go that way in another video, but for now I'm gonna just show y'all something really cool. 
that happened during the storm. Uh, and climb on this tree. Climb up this. This is like perfect for a moccasin or something. Like this is perfect. How's a moccasin? I live right here because everything's black. Everything blends in and everything. And ants are biting me like crazy. And I'm like, oh my gosh. Lord baby Jesus. Why does this hurt so bad? All I'm going to do is show my people some cool stuff. Dang, I'm so horrible with that. Okay, I would go to it, but it's on the other side of the train tracks, and my people don't want me crossing it. So, that's the train tracks. Maybe if I get like a hundred likes on this video, I might go across and show y'all the really cool thing over there. It looks like a cave. It's really cool. It's right air though, but it looks really awesome. But... I don't want to go too close to the train track because the police might see me. And I don't want to get arrested. Look at that. Look at that. Dogs. Okay. Okay. Now I'm thinking I'm about to end the video because I don't think I want to <coughs> see me head back. Holy crap, what was that? That was strange. I, mean, I don't like being out here no more. But maybe in another video when it's not as wet, I will... Take y'all that way, beyond the wilderness. Okay, but I will catch y'all in another video. Adios, amigos.